here from Fox 3 Managed Solutions and I wanted to give you a little hint and uh, maybe a, a trick to keep your DCS environment running smoothly. Uh, first of all, I, I want you to look here. I see I'm in my save games folder and I have the DCS, the DCS open beta, the open beta server uh, on my machine. So what I want to do is show you a trick I use for keeping my um, controls straight. So in, in open beta I added a um, mod for the F22. So under config, under input, you can find the F22 directory and there it is right there and you can see under joystick I have my Verpal stick, my throttle, and I just got some Verpal pedals and I, I, I um, added it to everything in beta but I didn't add it to everything in the general release. So I'm just going to copy this file over to DCS, config, input, F22, under joystick. You can see it's not there. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And now when I go into uh, the game, I'll show you how you actually import that in so you don't have to actually set it. It's already there. And uh, that leads me to another hint that uh, is very important is to back this stuff up regularly. And I made a little script that I use, and I'll show it to you here. I um, I back up my track IR profile because if it ever changes, I want it. And I back up my save games. Excuse me, and the reason I back up the save games, even though that file, that folder can get pretty big, everything in the save games folder for DCS is important. If you look in here, you see mods, liveries, logs. You don't need the logs, but uh, config, scripts, all these things are pretty important. Uh, what I do on occasion is delete everything in log directly, directory and delete everything in the tracks directory to keep it small uh, because these tend to get bloated up with a bunch of useless stuff that you can't really use. So um, anyway, when you back this up and you need it down the road, suppose you lose a hard drive or whatever, you can reinstall DCS and copy this back into your save games folder afterward and have all your controls, all your settings, and everything back without having to enter it all. And I'll tell you what, if I have to enter my <laughs> my stick controls again, I've done it a hundred times, I'm sure you probably have as well, it's just not uh, something in the cards for me. I'll, I'll pull out what little hair I have left and that's the way it's going to be. But anyway, this little, this little program I wrote, little batch file, will be uh, useful for you. It's just an X copy. Um, you're op you're copying your if you're if you're using a uh, track IR, the profiles are in your app data directory, roaming, natural point track IR profiles, and then these ticks here slash s slash e slash y slash r c and m basically says that anytime anything ever changes in this directory, copy it. Um, and if there's nothing there, just copy the folder structure. So if I run this program, uh, you can see that it'll it'll back up. Now this is just a sample. Uh, the actual one I have backs to a different location, uh, and I and I'll pull that one up shortly here. I'll show you real quick. This is much bigger and has a lot of other stuff in it that we don't need. But uh, Save Games is right here, and I back it up. Dpub sub uh, Dpub users luck Save Games. And if I go to that directory, you can see that everything is backed up. Users luck save games and there there is my uh there's my folders with all the stuff in it and they get kind of large um don't get me wrong this look for instance my uh open beta is 44 gig and my regular dcs is uh 100 gig largely because of missions and liveries and stuff that i want to save and all my settings but having this will save you all the time in the world. Okay? Anyway, uh, that's it. And I'm going to post this uh, sample, this batch file that you can use on yours. And uh, just remember when you do your X copy, the where it says X colon slash test, put that to where you want it to back up to. It's better to have it to a separate hard drive, separate d uh, drive altogether. If you have a network drive, that's okay. In this case, it is a network drive for me. Uh, my backup a uh, folder that drive goes to D then takes everything to another another NAS drive so it goes off my computer in case I lose my computer uh, 
but I will never lose my settings ever again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, talk to you soon.